Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a video on what to purchase from KKW Beauty at Ulta. So many of you guys know that KKW Beauty just launched in Ulta this past weekend and I was so excited because I am a big fan of KKW Beauty, but I'm here today to talk about products that I would recommend you purchasing from KKW Beauty now that they sell at Ulta and also products that I would say maybe not so much. I want to start off with the things that they are selling. They're selling lipsticks, they're selling lip liners, they're selling palettes, they're selling little sets, they're selling a mascara. Um, and I thought it was pretty cool, but the more that I thought about the things that I truly love about KKW Beauty, I was like, I feel like they, they missed like some big hits that they should have had. The first thing I wish that the gondola at Ulta Beauty would have had is concealers because I am a huge fan of KKW Beauty concealer. I was rocking my concealer for so many months. I literally ran out of a concealer because I used it so much. So if I run out of concealer, that's saying something because I have about maybe 10 or 11 concealers here that I'm consistently rotating. But if I'm gravitating towards the same ones, that means something. I just feel like concealer, we're constantly repurchasing. We're constantly needing our in our collection and that would have been something I would have loved to have seen there. Maybe take away the mascara. I've never really heard anything about their mascara to be completely honest. So I can't really like vouch for that. So the next set of things that I immediately noticed was that they had the contour stick. So that's maybe something that you guys may be wondering, is it worth a buy? What would you say? I have to say for me, the contour sticks are definitely great because they have a great variety of colors. They're also very easy to use for somebody who's just getting into contouring. Um, they're buildable so that when you're applying them, it's not really intense or like a lot of pigmentation. So you can really build up to your liking and not feel so threatened by it. And I think that's what Kim wanted to do. And that's the audience that she wanted to target was people that were going to be using this for every day. She wanted something practical for them, something that would be easy for them to consistently go back to. Also the packaging. I know she said that she redid the packaging. The packaging looks fabulous. It looks so good. So um, I definitely give her a 10 out of 10 for that packaging because it looks fantastic. Packaging could really change the game for you. I know some people don't care about that, but I feel like if I see a product that has pretty and like informative packaging, because the packaging is literally her face contoured, it makes me gravitate more towards that product and want to check it out and see what it's about. But the one thing I do have to say is I wish that they also sold them in Ulta as singles because I know on their website you can just buy the contour sticks without having to buy the highlight stick. Um, and sometimes we just need a refill, you know? We used our contour stick up and we just want the contour stick. So I'm excited to see if they're going to add that in, um, but I would love to see that. But I think for a starting point, I think it's good that they just started as kits because the people that are shopping KKW Beauty at Ulta are definitely gonna be more so people that are just being introduced to it or just have been waiting for it to launch in store so that they're able to look at it instead of buy it on their website. Now they do have the um, applicator to apply the contour, which is a sponge on one side and a brush on the other side. Honestly, guys, I think that sponge side is so dumb. I'm not a fan of that. I think a lot of people that do makeup aren't a fan of that. Um, I feel like it's kind of tacky and nobody really uses that. I'd rather just use a sponge. Um, but the brush side is nice. I do have to say that. I wish that it just came with the brush side to blend out the contour. I would say if you're looking to buying the contour sticks and you're like, should I get the brush? Don't get the brush. Just pass on the brush. Just get the contour sticks and use your own brush at home or buy like an affordable brush from like Morphe because there is Morphe at Ulta or like an e.l.f. brush. I always like to use like those like nice like little stippling brushes to apply the contour. Now the next things that I want to talk about are the palettes. So she did launch three different palettes in Ulta, but I do have to say if you're thinking about it from the perspective of is the quality of the palette worth it? Is the formula worth it? Yes, it is. I have some of the palettes and I'm a big fan of them. And I also feel like for the everyday person, those more like pinky neutral tone palettes are definitely worth checking out. Now, I did purchase one palette from there because I didn't have it and I had my eyes on it when it went online, but I was like, I don't need that right now. So I put a pause on that and that is the, um, fire palette so this is the so fire palette that she came out with a few months ago i think and look at this packaging it's so so cool it's like editorial um but the reason i wanted to check out this palette was because of the tones and i know you guys are probably like girl another warm tone palette Ooh, i also like the fact that it represents this because sometimes the packaging is like so pretty but i'm like i'm about to throw this away so it's cool that this is on this as well um so this is what the palette looks like 
I mean, come on guys. Like, this is fabulous. And when I saw this, I honestly thought of like late fall vibe. This is something that I will definitely be wearing for like Thanksgiving. That's what I had in mind when I got this palette. I was like, this is so beautiful and the shades are stunning. And I've tried enough shades from KKW Beauty's um, eyeshadows that I know that I'm gonna get good quality. I'm not gonna get anything that's mediocre. I would definitely check this palette out for this time of the year. Um, and then the other palettes are definitely for my people that want something for everyday use, something that they can wear every day. Um, and this palette, let's see my price. Um, it was $45. So that's the palettes. They don't have that many palettes, but I'm glad that they did incorporate palettes because they have a fabulous formula. So the next thing we're gonna move on to one of my favorites, and that is the lipsticks. So I have to say KKW Beauty nails it with a good creamy lipstick formula. And I really love that KKW Beauty really made sure to bring back that staple lipstick because I feel like for a long time, Everybody was wearing liquid lipsticks, liquid lipsticks, liquid lipsticks. But I think that it was awesome that they really targeted just lipsticks because who doesn't love a traditional creamy lipstick that just works magic on the lips. So right now I'm actually wearing a combination. So I'm wearing nude number two and then I'm wearing the nude number two lip liner. So they sell lipsticks and lip liners. They have all the nude lipsticks, which are fabulous absolutely 1000% recommend them. You will find a nude for you. They have nudes for like everybody in the spectrum, whether you're very fair skin to whether you're dark skin. So it's fabulous that they do incorporate and they have everybody in mind for that. So I'm wearing nude number two, which for me is a beautiful nude when I have my lips lined. If I don't have lip liner on and I just apply this, I'm like, what the F is that? It, it's, it's nude, it's really nude. So like on the back of my hand, it looks pretty. You're like, oh, this could work. Then you put it on your mouth and you're like, uh. But if you put on a lip liner first, it does wonders for you. So this is a fabulous color, as you can see, mixed in with a lip liner. And it can make a nude that may be too nude for you without lip liner look bomb and dimensional with some lip liner. So um, that's how I got into lip liner and I have no regrets. I absolutely love the fact that I now am a lip liner fiend because I find that lip liners are great. So I do have to say, um, these are definitely a great consistency for those people that are looking for something creamy. And the cool thing about this is that you can sharpen this with a regular sharpener. So I have my little Ulta Beauty sharpener right here, and I just use this to sharpen my pencils and they sharpen them perfectly. They never have any issues with them. They don't break. And you can see this is what they look like. Now I do have to say um, that with these lip liners, because they're more of that creamy consistency, they kind of dull down faster than a typical pencil, but you get more creaminess and more pigment. I feel like out of these I have a great range as well for their nude collection. So you can really take time because now they have it in store to really sit there and kind of swatch all the shades and play with the lip liner and see which one works best for you. I do want to touch on another thing. So they also have um, the red collection, which I feel like is perfect because we are stepping into holiday season. You are destined to find your perfect red lipstick in the red collection because they have the prettiest reds ever. I purchased classic red and it's literally stunning. So this is what it looks like right here. I'm gonna swatch this on the back of my hand, but it's just so creamy. And these lipsticks are very nice and long wearing considering that they're not matte, but like look at how pigmented and creamy that is. That is a fabulous red. Um, I also purchased the lip liner, the red lip liner for the red lipstick, which you can also find there. So I purchased another nude, surprise, surprise. This one just spoke to me because I feel like it's such a fun fall appropriate color. So, I mean, look at this packaging. It's great. I really love KKW Beauty's packaging. I feel like it's fabulous. It's just simple to the point, but it's, you know, very KKW Beauty. So this is what the lipstick looks like. It's um, the nude number six, like I mentioned, and I liked it because it's a deeper nude. I feel like it's kind of the color of my lip liner. So I feel like for like an everyday color, I think that's a great color. And you can see how creamy that is. So I just added that one to my collection and I have no regrets. Um, you will not have any regrets with the lipstick and they do retail for $18. Another lip product that I got, they also had the glosses from the So Fire collection and I decided to get this nude. I have tried her glosses and I do like them. They're not sticky. They're nice and 
moisturizing. Um, I got this nude because I was like, I need another nude. I mean, I feel like a really nude nude over like a deeper toned nude, like for example, nude number six that I just purchased, which is kind of like a brownie nude, always lays very pretty on top and kind of gives it a little bit of a, like a more neutral effect, a little bit of a lighter consistency. So I wanted to purchase this. The other two shades, I feel like that orange shade was like messing me up. I don't know, I was like, mm. And then the like deeper tone color was pretty. Don't get me wrong, I was definitely like, Ooh, that looks nice but I was like I'm probably not gonna wear this as often but I know there's many people that will like as a lip topper or by itself it's great they're pigmented but they still have that sheerness where like you're able to see your lips and if you're somebody that doesn't want something too intense you'll still like it so that's the type of pigmentation of these they're not like Anastasia Beverly Hills glosses that are like hella pigmented and like that's all you see no you can definitely wear this over a lipstick a liquid lipstick um, or you can wear it alone for a more like natural effect. Um, and then the last thing that they do have at Ulta Beauty is these little sets. So the sets look absolutely beautiful and I love the detail that they added to the packaging. It kind of had like that snake skin print. Um, these are exclusive to Ulta. So they came out with two different sets. The first one is two lipsticks and a lip gloss. That one really was like, wow, that looks so pretty. And if it wasn't for me already having one of the colors, I would have probably purchased it. Um, I had new number three, which is included in that little package. Um, the gloss looked fabulous. The other lipstick looked great too, but I was like, I already have one of the three shades. I, I just can't get myself to do it. So I would definitely recommend that little set if you are just wanting to get into KKW Beauty or if you know you watched my video, you're like, wow, I kind of really want to try out the lipsticks and see what they're about because she's talking about them. Like, I want to say like 30 bucks or so, maybe like 20 something bucks. I will have all the prices down below, but that's definitely a great stocking stuffer for somebody at work or something like that. And then they came out with the other one, which was like really like, I think it was like the Ulta color, kind of how Kylie has like an Ulta color with them. Um, and that one was a highlighter and a lipstick. Now that one, I was like more kind of into because I didn't have the lipstick because it was a new lipstick and I didn't have the highlighter. And I have tried KKW Beauty's highlighters. I have this one, which is called Glitz and Glam. If I can open it. So, ow. So this is what Glitz and Glam looks like and I'm wearing it right now. As you can see, they're beautiful highlighters, so pigmented um, and great quality. Definitely recommend them. So if you want to check that out, definitely would recommend that. The lipstick, Ooh, it, I feel like for a lot of people, they're going to really like that lipstick because I feel like it's very wearable and beautiful. But for me, it just wasn't speaking to me. But I know a lot of people will definitely love that shade. And I would definitely recommend that little set because like I mentioned, it comes with a lipstick and it comes with a highlighter. So if you're somebody that wants to try a lipstick, but you don't want to commit to three lip products, you just want one. And then you also like highlighter, then definitely recommend checking out the highlighter in there. It was beautiful. I swatched and I was like, Yes, that's pretty much all that there was at the KKW Beauty section at Ulta. I definitely am excited to see what more they're going to bring to Ulta Beauty because I know that this isn't the last of it. If you guys have any questions on what other products I would recommend purchasing or you guys want to know prices on everything, everything will be listed down below in my description box. You guys can go ahead and check that out. If you guys enjoyed watching this video, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. It lets me know to continue doing these types of videos for you guys. And also, if you're new to my channel, hi, welcome. I hope that you enjoy this video enough to stick around because I would love for you to become a member of a family here on YouTube because I wouldn't want you guys to miss my videos. They're always bomb and I try really hard to bring you guys the best quality content that I can so that you guys really enjoy what you watch on my channel. And that being said, I love you guys so much and I'll be seeing you guys very, very soon for a brand new video. Bye guys.